the sun. Very powerful, isn't it? Respected teachers and my dear friends, my name is Ronnie Misha from Class 5H. Today, I'm going to be talking about what is a green building and how is it designed to be environmentally sustainable. Building an eco-friendly greenhouse is one of the most effective ways in which we can make a personal contribution to keep the carbon footprint as low as possible. Well, this is my model of a green building. And here you can see the solar panel on the rooftop. So let me tell you what exactly a solar panel is. A solar panel is actually a collection of solar cells which generates electricity through the photovoltaic effect. So here you can see the solar fan and light bulb connected to it. So once the solar panel is charged, electricity flows to the solar fan and light bulb and starts working immediately like this. So when I cover it, it stops working. And when I expose it to the sunlight, it starts working immediately like this. So let me explain this in more detail. So each solar cell uh, gathers light from the sun so, uh, and generates electricity the same way how uh, a leaf generates uh, food for the plant. So the sun's light, it travels uh, in wavelengths. So once these wavelengths get in contact with the surface of the solar cells, it generates electricity immediately. So each, uh, each uh, cell has three layers. The topmost layer, the n-type layer, is made up of uh, silicon and uh, phosphorus so it is a, it makes the material uh, this layer more conductive uh, and uh, electrons move freely in it while the bottom layer uh, the p type layer it uh, it has uh, silicon and boron this uh, makes it uh, less conductive and it uh, creates a positive charge so that's why it's positive layer so uh, and the middle layer is partially positive and uh, pa partially negative so once the sunlight enters uh, the middle layer, gets in contact with the middle layer, it uh, generates, uh, it uh, knocks off one electron from the middle layer and uh, creates a hole, a positive uh, charged hole. So the hole uh, goes bottom and uh, it gets stuck in the p-type layer. While the um, free moving electron, it gets stuck uh, above in the uh, n-type layer. So this goes on until it's fully charged and uh, it can generate electricity. So uh, so it can generate electricity just as uh, how it's uh, working right now. So coming to rainwater harvesting, this is my water tank. So rainwater is collected over here. So once rainwater is collected, it uh, flows through this pipe and gets stored in the storage tank. Here in the storage tank, it gets purified for daily uses. So now we know, a well-planned green home cuts down electricity and water bills, boosts up green spaces in and around the house, relies on uh, non-polluting and renewable source of energy, and gives waste to minimum. Thank you.